In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a wallpaper that's going to look like this. And this is called the Boke Effect. Um, here was the inspiration, and then here was the original tutorial. Uh, it was probably one of the first online that showed people how to make this effect. And it's immensely popular, and I recommend that you check it out if you want to make something that looks like this. Rather than this. Whatever. Um, so I've got a new uh, document here. I'm going to turn off the grid. Go up to layer, new fill layer, and then gradient. Click OK. And I've got a gradient preset here. Um, but the color is 33AD2D. And I'll put this in the sidebar so you can copy and paste. And then the more yellow color is C2FB3A. And uh, it you can see it's over from the right a bit. Uh, and the way you do gradient presets is like you go to one of these, change the colors up, like I make that red, and then just uh, rename it, and then click new. And then uh, you got a preset that'll stay there for a long time. I'm going to go on green, click OK. Now I'll go up to your brush tool. Should be your brush. Um, color is going to be white. And in uh, brush settings here, I'm going to set hue jitter up pretty high. And scatter maybe a bit lower in this case. Press enter. Make a new layer. Uh, going to make the brush a lot bigger by hitting the right curly bracket key. And these are going to be the big dots. And we're going to have a medium amount of them. Sometimes if you want to put a dot right in one area, you can just turn off scatter and that'll be nice and precise like usual. So that's good. Uh, gonna make a new layer. Bring the brush a bit smaller by hitting the left curly bracket. And these medium dots, we're not gonna actually have that many. So I think I'm gonna bring scatter down even less. I'll hide the bottom. And uh, the hue jitter that we set is uh, giving these dots different colors, or shades, I should say. Now, uh, we're going to make the small dots, and we want a ton of these. So I'm going to bring scatter quite a way up. And just click and drag your mouse a tiny, tiny bit. If you drag a lot, it's going to like fill your whole document with dots. But just drag a tiny, tiny bit and you'll get little clusters. So I'm going to turn all these back on. And on the bottom one, I'm able to turn the top two off. Go to filter. Blur, Gaussian blur, and radius, bring it up to like, you know, around 10. On the middle one, filter, blur, Gaussian blur again, maybe around half that. So I'm at like 4.1 now. Oh, that's still the same layer. Glad I caught that. So yeah, you use like around four, I guess. But it does depend on the size of your document. And for the tiny dots, uh, blur is going to be just really small. Like maybe a pixel or two. I'm going to press uh, Commander Control and then Plus to zoom into 50%. Uh, now we need to make these a bit darker. Oh yeah, first thing, set the blend mode to multiply on all of these because it gives it kind of that black look and I think I'm gonna lighten these up a tiny bit so go up to layer new adjustment layer and then levels check group with previous click OK and I'm just gonna play around with the midtone slider you can make them darker or lighter whatever you want. Go. 
keep that roughly there. Uh, and there's the same thing, levels. Except that's going to change the whole document. So you press Alt or Option, and then click right in between the layers. So that'll mask it off. So it only affects the one layer. Again, levels. And we'll do the mask, Alt or Option, and then click in between them. Oh, whoops. Clicked in the wrong layers. There we go. Now you can tweak these again. So maybe you want the back ones to be really dark. Whatever. And that's about it, guys. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please comment and rate it. And uh, check out my channel because I got more Photoshop videos coming like every week and make sure to subscribe that's really all I ask because um, subscribers are awesome and every time I make a new video it shows up right in your youtube.com home page so you can see it right there you don't need to like click bookmarks to get to my channel or like search me or anything like that so just subscribe and it's gonna be so much easier to get my content and as I said, I make new videos every week, so I guess that's about it. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next video, and subscribe.